What is up guys? My name is Ak, Ak the Worm, and welcome back to Roblox. Today we are going to be playing some Super Blocky Ball. This game is a Roblox racing game where you roll around the map in a ball and try to be the first out of any play of all the players in the server. Either that or you can be hunting for all the skins, but I'm not gonna do that because racing is more fun. I have not played this game in a couple months, but it, I remember it being really fun and yeah. If you want to play this game yourself, link will be in the description below, but anyways, let's get into the races. So this map is North Castle. I'm going to be taking, I'm going to try to be as fast as I can, so I'm going to be taking all the shortcuts, but, but on the first lap, that is. But I'm actually going to be showing you the actual parts of the map at the same time. If there's a game that you, remember, if there's a game you want to see me play, just, just comment it down below, and I'll, like, and I will see it. I had such a lead on this guy, but, you know, then, I did not know that shortcut existed. Yep, yeah, I, okay. Yep. But that's the price you have to pay to make, to do this stuff. Okay, so now we are going to be going into Shretsky's Castle. It All the maps are in a little your order. It, so um, North Palace is right before Shretsky's Castle, and Shretsky's Castle is right before Lava Mountain. Anyways, I'm going to be going through this map, and I'm going to be racing everyone else. This ratty dude guy seems to know a lot, seems to be good at the game, so this might actually be interesting. I'm right behind him, but, you know. Okay, I'm just hitting all of the corners. I'm just hitting all of the corners here. Yeah, I was really far behind him. Yeah, second's a long time this game. This guy definitely plays a lot more than I do, but that's completely fine. If I can be in, like, in one race, I'll be really happy. I'd say it's about time I put on a good skin. Unfortunately, there's no worm skin, so I'm just gonna have to be the pink noob. Magenta noob. Lava Mountain. The next map will be Lazing Mountain, not Lava Mountain, sorry. And this map is pretty short, but at the same time it has a few shortcuts and speed, and speed, pass, speed pads. Anyways, let's get into it. So the first shortcut you see here is going to be to jump at this here into there and it just keep on jumping through these areas here. You just want to jump through these those areas and take the red boost pads because those give more speed than the yellow ones and are usually in harder to reach places or have a larger risk risk of going bad. Anyways, it looks like I'm actually going to beat the ratty dude guy, which is really cool. Yeah, he's right behind me though. So I can't get too cocky, but I think that we won. Yeah, he was like um he was like a tenth of a second behind me. Which is not a lot of time in this game. What is my best time for that map? For that map, 53 seconds. That's like a sec. That's like a couple seconds back. That's like a quarter of a second faster than I just did. And next up, we are on to Clockwork Canyon. This one, this map is also kind of hard, but it's mainly hard to get first place when there's a another good person like all the maps. But the thing is, this one is hard because the shortcuts are actually kind of hard to do.
And here is the shortcut that I've been telling you about that it's hard to do. And I missed the yellow boost button. Luckily, it doesn't look like he's as comfortable with these shortcuts as I am. Yeah, if I had hit that yellow boost pad on lap one, I would have likely won. He got... He got a second... He got like 1.2 seconds faster than me. Darn it. That was not a good Clockwork Canyon run. At all. And now we are on to the worst map in the game. Rock Oasis. This map sucks. It is so cramped and it's... The scene might be decent, but it's just really just boring and cramped and stuff. What was that? What was that landing? Okay, I did not know that... Whatever. Why? Why do I keep on landing like that? Seriously. I'm getting tilted right now. And this is a... This is a... Literally. He knows. He knows how tilted I'm getting. Okay. To beat this guy, I might need to betray my warm heritage. And I have to go. Pretty overseer eye. This is the lucky, my lucky skin. If I wear this, I feel like I have the power to be ready to. Seriously. Also, like the thing about this game's leaderboards is that don't trust them. Like it might say that I, I've been the developer time, which is really the only thing you can go by to show you're good at this game, really. Because the leaderboards themselves, uh, all the people there are actually exploiters. They all exploit to go, like, slightly faster than everyone else, and there's no way to really detect that in this game. So, it just goes unbought. Just goes by. Since you can't really, you can't even detect the exploiters here. Now faster guy. Wait, that, that exists? I did not know that. I did not even know you could just do the platforming and, of course... Oh, we both missed. Nice. We both missed the boost pad. And now I'm ahead of him because he had to go back for it. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do that shortcut. And I did. I'm actually quite a bit ahead of him. This actually might be my map. Other, along with um, Blazing Mountain, but you know, but that doesn't really count right now. I think I actually managed to beat Rowdy Dude here. I did, but by how long? That's the real thing. Oh, that was personal best. Well, how long did I beat him by, though? I feel like he royally screwed up. Wait, what? Oh my god! Ratadude left! Ratadude left the server! Oh my god! I'm pretty sure that our record was like 2 and 3 there. Or, uh, let's see. He won that, he won that, I won that, he won that, he won that, he won that. So he won 4 and I won 2. We take those! Because he still left because he was embarrassed because he missed the shortcuts. I no longer have to be betraying the worm here. And I'm still a worm. Do not question that. I'm not a caterpillar, Mr. One Guy in the comments. Anyways, now we are going to Palm Top Pier. This map is a relatively short and small map. I don't really like it personally because it's too cramped for my taste. 
and the shortcuts are really just all all boost pads which is just not that interesting at all so yeah i'm just gonna yeah like see there that's a that's a lap with almost all the shortcuts it's literally the, all the almost all the shortcuts here on this map are just boost pads and cutting corners that makes the lap like that makes the round the map just not that interesting and for me i just personally do not like it that much because you just go from boost pad to boost pad and cut and cut corners and then you're done with the map yeah see i did that in 47 seconds that's way too short for something like this and now we are on to Coastal Cove here. Sorry, I didn't realize that I was running there. Anyways, we're on to Coastal Cove. This map is also kind of cramped, but it's actually cool because like there's actual shortcuts. And you can do tricks like this. Yeah, that's right. One from one boost pad jump onto a boost pad right there. And this game, that's really a lot. Almost all you can ask for. And so we just, and, but unfortunately, yeah, it's just the same thing over and over again. And since Rad Dude left, there's no, like, real challenge to be had, so I'm just really rolling around trying to go for a personal best. Which I might actually get, but I don't know. And there we go. That was not a personal best. My personal best is two seconds faster. Yikes. And as you can see, like, everybody was at least six seconds behind me there. Like, a lot of, like, not, like, 400 people are playing this right now, but, like, almost none of them, like, really know how to play the game and how, and how to roll the ball, like, the, in the best way possible. And now we are on to Desert Dunes. This map is just us going around a square twice. But it's kind of interesting because, like, the real challenge is in how even, uneven the, like, course is. Because as you can see, those sand areas there, yeah, those are, that's not even ground. So you have to constantly be going up and, and down hills. Which is uh, a pretty good idea for a map, actually. Unfortunately, it's repeated again in a later map, which we'll get to. So yeah, as you can see, like, going down the hills gives you a speed boost, and if you jump over the ledges, you can retain that speed, or at least some of the speed. Those people are just going for skins right now. Like, if people are com aren't, com if people aren't, don't complete maps, they're likely going for s all the skins. Because, like, th that giant ball up there, that is actually a skin. If you touch it, you will, you will get the skin. Yeah, as you can see, I completed that in 56 seconds, and that was, was like, thinking, actually, I might as well go for something. And now we are on to Pipe Nightmares. This course is, like, is literally just a straight line with boost pads in it, on, with boost pads. You just go through this line right there. It's a tube. So, like, everybody is really bunched together on this course. Gets literally just a straight line. I lost because I was no I no I lost because I was looking backwards. Oh well. So as you can see, like as long as people aren't AFK, people, are people AFK. No, but this guy is just going back. As long as people aren't AFK, everybody be, should be that because there's not even any skins in this one or the next one for that matter. And now this course, uh, this course is like that one that repeats the same setup as as like uh, Desert Dunes. Uh, this course is Checkpoint Chaos. You you have to collect all the checkpoints before returning to the starting line for the as for the goal. So here we go. I'm gonna go this way to see how fast this is. Right. 
just going into this one, the last one. I feel like I got. Oh wait, my yeah, I got first. Let's go. Oh, that's a PB. Is that faster than the dev time? It is not. Still two seconds slower. Oh well. Anyways, like I said, everyone should beat this one because there's no skins to hunt for. So yeah. But you can still see all those people that are just yeah. Oh, we are on to this course. I have never played this course before, so you're gonna be experiencing it with me here. This is Dizzy Volcano. Looks like we just have to get to the top of the mountain. Which seems to be really cool. assume this here is a shortcut. It is a shortcut! I knew it! Oh look, I had a skin. And there we go! Where is the exit? Ah, yes. Sure. Oh, so I should have exited, but for some reason I didn't. So anyways, guys, I think that's going to be about it for today's episode of Roblox. Thank you all so much to, for watching this video, and goodbye.